Hi all, this is Neelam and welcome to my channel Answer by Neelam Sachan. In today's episode, what we are covering is the varnish. Uh, so we'll be covering various aspects of varnishes, why varnish, what is varnish, where you can get it, what's the price and whatever I know about varnish, I'll be sharing it with you. So let's start with our video today and there. Okay, so first question is what exactly is varnish so varnish is a transparent um, sealant you can say or a medium which is like a coating that you can put over your artworks to protect them from the environmental factors uh, obviously it won't be saving from the fire and all but the regular moisture humidity and uh, the regular dust and all that so that won't affect your artwork painting especially so that is why you use varnish now varnish is basically a mix of a solvent uh, and there is a vaporizing thing uh, i'm sorry i'm forgetting the name but there is a vaporizer there is a sealant and uh, there is a resin so it is like resin stays there it protects uh, it's after getting exposed to the air it hardens up yeah that is hard now so that hardens up the vaporizing thing vaporizes and then what you have is a clear coat on your artwork so varnishing is actually very much advisable if you are into painting and uh, you want to preserve your paintings for a longer time so that is why you actually need to varnish your artworks now is the Second question, why varnish? That is uh, that is something that I have already covered to protect it from the environmental effects of the weather and uh, for the long-term preservation of your artworks, you need to use the varnish. And uh, there is another thing that you can easily dust off. Once you have a varnish layer over your artworks, you can actually dust off all that uh, dust and uh, the particles that are there in the air. You can easily dust off and the paints won't be affected by that. So it's very easy, pick up a dry brush, dust it off or a cheesecloth kind of a soft thing, just dust it off. Your paintings are safe. You don't have to put a glass cover over that because that kind of ruins the texture, hand feel and all that effect that you have in the original paintings. Glass covers ruin that for me. So it's better that you varnish and uh, how to varnish, I'll cover it next. The third question that I have in line is, uh, what all can be varnished so right now i'm talking about the paintings so you can actually varnish the paintings but uh, varnishes are done over the wood products also that are there in your home decor or anywhere the if reason is the same to protect it from the environmental weathering and all that so you can actually varnish any art and craft material that you are making at home even for the kids you can preserve and protect it you can varnish the wooden pieces or the threads or anything and they will stay for a longer period. So that's uh, what all you can varnish. Fourth question is how to varnish. So how to varnish, I have covered, uh, to cover this point, I have used two of my recent oil paintings. So they were not varnished as of yet because I wanted to capture that. So I have used uh, the two paintings that are there in this frame, you can see. So this one was recently done and this has been drying up for some time now, like two or three months. Now what happened is I have to use two different kind of varnishes. Those varnishes are for oil painting. So that is a check oil painting, oil painting, varnish for oil painting, check. Now I used a spray varnish for this one and I used a liquid varnish that you have to apply using a brush on this one let's have a look at both of the procedures both of the methods and then i'll speak a little more about that and the difference that you can see there after you watch the video
Okay, so with spray painting, the method is very simple. You put down the painting or you keep it in front of you. You spray the varnish spray can, which is intended for the oils and acrylics. And keep the spray can at least a foot away or a, a little more than that. Spray it nicely. Once that dries up, which dries up very quickly, once that dries up, put another layer. Again, put another layer. So with two, three coats, your painting is going to be safe. So you can preserve that painting for a very, very, very long time. Now, this method is very easy. You just have to wear a mask, put the protective eye glasses and uh, do it outside, not inside. And uh, preferably, as you can uh, see in the video, I did not cover anything uh, to protect my floor because I'm not a big fan of my floor as of now. So I did not cover it. But if you love your floor and uh, you do not want any varnish stains over there, just cover it up, put over the painting and then spray. So that's another advisable tip. Then the second method where I did this painting with the varnish that I had to use with the brush, this varnish dries up quickly. So I poured the liquid over the painting Quickly apply that using the brush and the color difference. Okay, let's cover that point separately. Uh, so this actually dried up very fast. So you can actually do the same process on this one as well. So it's one layer, two layer, and then three layer, each after drying up of the previous one. So these two paintings. Now, after the two are dried, what is the difference between the two, the spray and the brush one? I practically cannot see any uh, difference here because they were both very thin layer. Now, the reason being, they were both oil based. Now, coming on to the next question, what all varnishes are there? There are oil based varnishes, which is basically you have to clean the brushes that you apply with in the oil media. And uh, there are water based, which leave a thick layer of the varnishes on your paintings and you can actually get the texture of it. Oil-based paintings, oil-based varnishes will not leave a texture on your painting. They're basically thin, so they create a thin layer. Water-based are thicker, just like their PVA glue or something. You can imagine it that way. Once it dries, there is a thin layer. You can also see the texture if you are applying it with a brush. So these are the two major categories, water-based and oil-based varnishes. Now there's Next question is, what exactly is the difference between the paintings before the varnish and after the varnish? So you saw that in the, you are seeing this here in this video, that before the varnish, the colors were kind of drying out and the dust was settling in there. So in this painting where I use the spray one, I did not clean the surface and I directly sprayed it up. So after that, what you can see is there are minute particles. As you can see in this close-up video here, there are minute particles, which are not exactly visible to the eye as of now, but if you go closer, you can see that. In the second method, I use the brush on this one, but before I put up the varnish, what I did was I used a dry brush to dust it off very nicely. So all the dust was removed and I put the varnish and as I put the varnish you can see the color saturation suddenly comes up. So varnishes actually enhance the colors of your painting which otherwise may go dull. So that is another benefit of adding varnishes to your artwork. Now let's come to the most important point that is the availability of the varnishes. So in the video you saw that I used this uh, picture varnish for oil colors from Camel on the green painting and uh, this is basically to be applied by the brush on the paintings and you can actually put up any number of layers. Two or three are preferred but uh, there is something that varnishes may go yellow after a lot of years so you don't have to worry about that as of now but if you're looking for some archival thing that needs more work and uh, I use this RS picture oil and acrylic spray varnish on my second painting visually the result is not very varied so it is more like 
and they are both oil based. That's why they are both getting a nice shine on the oil paintings. Here, if you want to have a matte finish look, why waste it? Oil paints are as it is shiny, you need a glossy finish there. And uh, if you want a matte finish, there are matte finish varnishes as well. Like I have this something from the dollar store that I used uh, when I started with the painting that's from Bleichwick, Holland, and that's acrylic varnish, matte finish. So the matte finish varnishes are actually a little costly and uh, I haven't used them since I got back to India. Now let's talk about the prices and their availability on internet. Uh, I would be talking mostly about the Amazon availability that I did a little research. So this uh, water-based varnish that I just showed you from the dollar store, they actually are very lovely. Once you apply them over your acrylic paintings, they're amazing. So I found the Bristol High Gloss varnish on um, internet for about 1000 ml that is about one liter for 1700 INR and similarly 500 ml for 999 INR so you can actually go with that uh, not so expensive but not so cheap also Bristol is somewhat mid-range and then there is little birdie that is 100 ml for 237 so I think this is a little expensive because one liter of that will be like 2300 INR somewhat like that. So if you have a little project, a little something that's a one-time use, go for the smaller package. And if you have something like you go on and on with the painting, I would suggest go with the bigger packs because you can actually save a lot of money there. And uh, Liquitex, of course, Liquitex is a little expensive than the rest. So Liquitex is also about 236 ml for 1050 INR. So you can check that. And this camel varnish that I used is for 605 for half liter. And uh, this uh, spray can is 200 ml for about 250. So you can check according to your interest and all that. Uh, if you have any children engaged in the artwork, I would not suggest that you engage them in the, any of these oil-based varnishes. It's preferred that you can go with the water-based varnishes for the children because it's safer also, there are no fumes. Oil-based varnishes always have that smell in the room if you are doing it indoor. Even after doing it outdoor, once you bring them, there is a smell inside. So you do not want to expose children to that. So if you're doing it yourself, and you are an adult still wear a mask wear the glasses and protect everything around and then varnish outside not inside so these are uh, i think i have covered most of the uh, things and still in case you have any other question related to varnish i would be happy to do more research on it and look out for the answers uh, especially for you. So you can write your questions in the comment section below and I would be sharing all the links of all the materials that I have just spoken about, the availability from the Amazon. The links will be there in the description so that you can check out the prices and if you want, you can buy them. And again, one more thing, none of the videos are sponsored by anyone. It's just a suggestion and uh, what I have been using, I am just sharing it with you. So in case you like this video, do give it a thumbs up, like it, share it with your family and friends, whosoever is involved in varnishing, art and craft and all our business or hobby. Share it with them and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. That is the most important thing. Until then, take care of yourself, keep creating and enjoy the art world. Bye-bye.